Hi everybody, just checked in. Um, it's a normal hotel room. It's super loud in the hallway though um, when people are talking. But anyway, and then the toilet kind of runs a little bit. But that's okay, I can always turn the water off. I am staying with someone. She is not here yet. Um, this is her bed. It's all set up and ready to go. Um, but let me get like a little bit. So that's my tossy. I already put on our bed so it's ready for her. And then, then I'm staying over here. I put all my clothes out to unwrinkle um, them. And then, yeah, all my stuff. It's just, there's like no drawers or anything. So anyway, uh, at the rink, just to kind of see it. Um, but we couldn't like get our credentials or anything yet. They had like a camp going on. Um, so that's kind of too bad because kind of wanted to get my skating partner some practice because he couldn't get into his entry. So he only has one session that they assigned him. So anyway, um, went shopping already, have some snacks and things. Um, we're on the third floor, which is nice. And then I'm gonna talk about the, um, hold on, I'm gonna turn this around. All right, so we'll talk about the elephant in the room, which is me. I have gained a lot of weight. Now, here's the thing, it's stopped, um, but my grandma died and my mom died and it was just, it wasn't like I changed my eating habits or anything. I just, the stress, the stress of my life caught up to me. Um, and so, I mean, I'm in sweats right now, so clearly it's, it's hard to tell exactly what I look like, but, as a pair skater and stuff, I try to stay around like the 110-ish range and I'm clearly, I don't, I haven't weighed myself. I try not to do that, but based on what I've seen my body look like in most of my life, um, I'm probably 120-ish, which I mean, to some people it's like, oh my God, whatever, you're so not fat. Okay, for me, it feels a little bit like, ish, like I don't like the way I look, but here's the thing. I want to clear things up because you're probably like, oh great, she's going to complain about being fat. Actually, I'm not. Yes, my abs are not nearly as toned as they were before. Um, and my thighs, you can't really tell, but are a little bit bigger than they once were. But I feel really, really healthy. Like, I'm not having um, the... Oh, is that my skating partner? Anyway. Um, I'm not having the injuries like I was. When I was my lowest weight and thought I looked amazing, um, like probably, you know, this was probably 2015-ish. I'll put some pictures in of when I was at my lowest weight and kind of what I look like now, because it's hard to tell in videos. Like you might see me in this video and be like, oh, you look the same. But when you see, you'll know. Um, I was having knee pain, chronic knee pain. I was always having to wear a brace. It always hurt. And now I don't have that. Every once in a while I have like a groin injury or like something because I overstretch, but um, I don't hurt. I don't have stomach issues like I was having lots of things. So like, yeah, I look at myself now when I put on my skating clothes and I'm like, oh boy, that's not as good as it once was. But it's not always about, um, how you look, it's how you feel and how you perform. I can make it through my program better, I'm not tired. Like I never did full run throughs when I was that skinny weight. For pairs I did, cause pairs are a little different, but like for singles, I didn't have the energy cause I wasn't eating. Uh, I couldn't make it through. Pairs, you can be a little like malnutrition and still do it because you have three sections of lifts where you're not really doing anything and you can kind of rest. Um, pairs is a little less physically demanding on endurance as singles is. I couldn't make it through a singles program. Like I almost quit doing single skating because I was not eating. I was eating, um, let's just get the real out there. I was eating about 750 calories a day. Um, in the photos I'll show you after we finish talking here. Um, so actually I'm gonna put those photos in now so you can see, I mean, the max I would eat I would have one cheat meal a week, which I didn't track. And then um, 1,200 calories, I felt like I was eating too much. So here's some photos of what I look like.
All right, so now I'm not tracking at all um, calorie-wise. Now I'm making sure that I don't overeat. If I go out, I try to stay away from fried foods. Um, I've had some thyroid issues from all the years of mistreating my body and how I eat. Um, so I have to be a little careful on what I eat. Like I can't have broccoli anymore and any like vegetables like cauliflower, um, cause of my thyroid, um, soy, I've had to step back on that. Things that I used to love. Um, so you gotta treat your body right. I mean, this is a hard sport. It is totally different than bikini. I will say like bikini was a little bit, um, easier to eat less because you weren't, I mean, you could stop in the gym, but you can't stop in a skating program. And so it's definitely um, changed how I do things. Um, I'll put some photos in kind of how I look now training and compare it. I'll do a side by side of like a screenshot of me coming back to the camera doing pair skating. So you can kind of. Um, so you can kind of see the difference. Um, but right now my skating, here's the thing, ladies. My skating partner can still lift me. I'm probably 15 pounds heavier than when we started skating together. And we're doing harder lifts now. It's about training. You just have to train. So if some guy tries to tell you you're too fat for him to lift you, then he needs to lift more. Like he needs to work out. Like I get it. Like there's obviously some things that you have to be like, okay, well, if you know your partner weighs 100 pounds and you weigh 300 pounds, it's probably not gonna work. But a little bit it's not a huge deal and i was so stressed about it and so consumed by it and my whole life i've been in sports where the way you look matters they try to say it doesn't matter in figure skating but it does even people that don't want to say it doesn't matter they 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 judge and right now i'm like a pretty good size i feel like i don't look like anybody's gonna be like oh my god why is she skating but um i do think that people judge you a lot and so it's hard but don't let them do it just don't let them just do what you're doing because honestly I feel better now than I ever have skating um I make through my program no problems yes it's great so anyway so I just wanted to address that um elephant in the room because people are probably like oh wow you know Elaine looks like she's gained a little bit of weight and it's true I have <laughs> um but I'm never going to go back to that 700 calorie a day sort of situation. If you watch some of my fitness videos from like 2015 and you hear what I eat, like I almost feel bad keeping those online because people are like, oh my God, like I literally ate two meals a day. It was like a quarter cup of kidney beans and a half a cup of brown rice was a meal. And then my next meal it's five egg whites and asparagus or green beans depending on the day. Um, yeah, like I literally was eating 790 calories a day and I was skating and I was working out the gym twice a day. I can't believe I wasn't skinnier, honestly. Like, <laughs> all right. So anyway, I have a down day and I figured I would address that because if you watch my videos, you might think, well, you know, she looks good. Or you might think, oh, wow, she let herself go. And that's your opinion. It's fine. So I just wanted to get that out there. Um, but right now I'm feeling really, really strong. Haven't had any struggles with anything except for kicking myself in the leg, which honestly could have happened anytime. Um, so yeah, um, I will do a video of like some of the competition day.